Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Katie's Empire, and we have another crazy video for you guys today, all right? So today's video is gonna be about woman calls off wedding because her boyfriend had an affair with several guys back in college. Let's get into the video. This because I slept with a few dudes in the past in college does not mean we want to sit there and call the wedding off. It was in college. Right now you're blending them. Right now you're it was in college. Both for another guy. It was in college. It was in college. You act like you were never curious before. You never met someone else. I'm a good man. Any woman, any woman would want a man like me. Any woman would want a man like me. Like me! So you gotta try trying to throw me away. Well, you gotta try. You gotta try. Like I said, like, like I, I said, said let me tell you something. You will never oh, find another man like that. Oh, you will never find another man like that. You're judging me. And that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. I'll prove it. 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 I'll
I'm telling you, man, to have these uncomfortable conversations and see where these people's heads are at, man, because oftentimes, oftentimes, situations like situations like this, man, this thing can go far freaking left. Far left. This is why we have to be open and be honest before we get into these relationships and have these conversations with these people. I need to know. I need to know who you were before you got to this point. I just need to know. And if you can't be open and honest about the people that you are dating, then you shouldn't be dating at all. That's just my personal opinion. You have so many people out here that think that this is okay when it's not. And when I say to think that this, this is okay, I'm, I'm referring to the guy that honestly believes that you know, just because something happened, no, she needs to know about this, fam. Like, no, you need to, you need to tell her about this, and then she can make a decision on whether she wants to stay or whether she wants to leave before it gets to the point that y'all are engaged, about to be married. Hopefully, don't have any children together, but you have to, you have to be open and honest about these type of things, because the. These type of things are huge to a lot of different people. And so, if you honestly say that you love someone, can you not be honest with them? I'm, I'm honest, I want to know the answer to that question. Can you not be honest with somebody? If somebody really loves you, all right, really, they really love you, they really care for you, I believe, again, this is just my personal opinion, but if you really love someone, then you can love them through almost anything or maybe even anything depending on you know uh the person if they really honestly understands what love means to me love is is unconditional no matter what i can love you through anything and if the relationship i mean of course it started as a friendship and you develop feelings and y'all get to the point where y'all y'all love each other and nothing can tear y'all apart. Something like this, honestly, would not have stopped that person from loving you. But when you sit here and you hold this type of information in, now this person like, yo, you've been lying to me all these doggone years. Why the heck should I trust what you're saying right now? And how do I know that you're not gonna lie in the future? How do I know that you haven't lied or, or kept something else from me? Why in the world would I stay in a relationship or stay with someone that don't understand the importance of being open and being honest going into what we're about to get into, marriage? That's for like that's forever till death do we part. And if I'm with someone and they don't understand that, why the heck would I give them my hand in marriage? And if they're thinking about having children, a person's character, like this is type, this is a character flaw. When you hold this type of information in, when you're not being honest about, that's a character flaw. I might get some hack, you know what I'm saying? I might have some, a lot of people that's gonna disagree with me in the comments, but listen, I'm, uh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it today. Like this is something that I honestly, I stand on 10 toes down. I don't play about stuff like this. Like, Yes, your your past can honestly mess up your future if you're not at least honest about it. Because, say for instance, if they would have had the conversation, they would have had to come. My, my bad, y'all. This Tesla's doing what it wanted to do. Stop running over potholes. But if they would have had the conversation before getting into a, ser a serious relationship, and you give that that young lady the opportunity to to take all that information in and see, like, do I want to, to continue to go down this road with someone that has had this type of past? You never know. Some people are willing to accept it, like, you know what, that was your past. I appreciate you being honest because most people wouldn't. They would withhold this type of information and then later on, you know, they'll try to throw this stuff on them like, yo, but I appreciate you for being honest with me. And you know what, we can move forward with this. I'm willing to, if you say that, you know, that's no longer who you are, which I'm not gonna give my personal beliefs about that, but if you say like, this is who you are, you know, that was just an experiment or whatever, back in high school, back in college. Again, you have some people out there that are willing to accept that. But 
things that people will not accept is you withholding information like this. Months and months, weeks and weeks, or years and years have went by, and you've basically been deceiving me. That's what that's what they feel like, all right? But anyway, man, I don't want to spend too much time on this, man. Y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this particular video. Comment down below. Let's have the discussion, man. I think this is going to be a really, really good conversation. Anyway, man, y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, burberry, butterna. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work. She hit my phone. She want to, whoa.